Hi everyone, this is Andrew Town. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you what to do to roll back an update on the Windows 10 ARM build via Parallels on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you um, have installed 21292.1010, this particular update on the Windows 10 ARM build is actually going to break x64 emulation, which is pretty bad for running games. So I'm just going to show you my Windows ARM running on Parallels on my M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So on this computer here, you can see that I'm using the 21292 build of the operating system. And this particular build has kind of broken several things. And this is pretty much normal stuff when you're using a technical preview of this software. So for example, Chrome just went in run and um, the kind of experience feels a bit more buggy. So what we want to do is roll back without having to reinstall the entire thing. So the normal way to uninstall an update is to go into Windows settings and then go to update history. And then what we want to do is click on uninstall updates. But for one reason or another, this particular view is completely empty. Even though we have just done an update of 21292 on the 13th. I've also tried the other method, which is to use Windows PowerShell to do a manual command to uninstall the latest update. But as you can see, it's not really working right now. So the only way I've got this to work is to use the recovery menu. So if you just click start and then type in recovery, we'll get through to this recovery menu. I'm going to use an earlier build. We're not going to check for updates. We're going to restore the build here and click next. I'm going to go back to an earlier build and then restart. So just let that finish and we should be uninstalling that particular update. So there we have it. We have the 21286 version of the operating system, which does support x64 emulation. And I can open my Chrome browser just fine, and I can probably run most of my games just fine now. So um, that's how to roll back your Windows installation when all the other options do not work. Um, anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tech video.